Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pet Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be smoking up a whole turkey on my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, let's get started on our turkey. I've got a 12 pound turkey. Now I would recommend that you stick to that 12 to 14 pound range. Anything larger is gonna really take a long time to cook. You know, I remember being young and my mom running to the store trying to find the biggest turkey they had to offer. But when you're smoking a turkey, I think smaller is better. Again, 12 to 14 pounds is what I recommend. Now, the legs do come tucked in where the turkey tail is. And I have a lot of extra skin right here. You don't want that, okay? That's not gonna be any good. It's not gonna cook. It's just nasty. So I'm gonna cut that off. Don't worry about the legs. We're gonna tie them up here in a little bit. So take that fat off, just like that. And also around the neck, you have a lot of excess skin right here. Now you don't wanna expose the turkey breast, but you do wanna remove all this excess skin that you have right here. Again, this isn't gonna cook, so I'm just gonna take that off. Just like that. All right, so you just want to take a look at your turkey, make sure you don't have any excess pieces of skin hanging. And this looks pretty good. So I am going to be injecting this turkey. I am using this LC Barbecue Foul Play. Now I've used this on turkey before and chicken, and it is absolutely delicious. It adds a really good flavor to the inside of your turkey. So I've just got my injection right here. And I've got 28 ounces, and I put three quarters of a cup of the injection. And I'm going to be filling up this turkey with all 28 ounces of injection, okay? You wanna grab the breast. All right, so you also wanna inject the turkey legs, my favorite part of the turkey. And inject enough. Again, we have 28 ounces, okay? So you can inject as much as you want into this turkey. All right, you also wanna inject this wing. Get it nice and plump. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Again, you are injecting nothing but flavor into this turkey. And then last but not least, turn it over and inject this thigh right here. All right, I'm gonna inject the rest of this turkey and we'll be right back. All right, so I've got the turkey completely injected, and look at how puffy it got. I mean, it is just injected with that LC barbecue foul play. This is gonna be good, so I'm just gonna flip it upside down. Now, I did put the turkey on a rack right here, and the reason I put it on the rack is that I don't want the turkey to sit in that liquid that fell off the injection, and that's gonna take off the rub. So I'm gonna use the injection kind of as a binder, if you will, and I am using the LC barbecue last call. So I was talking to Phil the other night, the owner of LC barbecue, and he was telling me that he came pretty close to winning a turkey cooking competition using this exact recipe. Um, it was over 200 teams, and I believe he came in sixth place, which is pretty darn good. So just to add a light layer of this last call rub, just like this. Get under the wing, the armpit of the turkey, if you will. So this rub has a really good smoky aroma coming from it. So I know this turkey is going to be really, really good. All right, so I'm going to turn the turkey around just like this. And go ahead and season the top side of it. You're going to get that wing, which is my wife's favorite. Get that leg. Under the leg. Put some of the cavity as well. And get that little turkey tail as well. So again, this is one of my favorite pieces of that turkey, is that turkey tail. Okay, I'm just gonna set that turkey tail on the inside of the turkey. Now I am gonna tie these legs. Just got some kitchen twine right here. Just a simple knot. Time together like that. 
And I'm also going to be tucking the wings. Tucking the wings is going to prevent the tips from burning on you, so good idea to go ahead and tuck them in. All right, so our turkey is ready. We'll see you guys outside of my smoker. All right, so we're outside of my Yoda Y 640 pellet smoker, and we are going to be smoking at 425 degrees today. So let me talk about the setup that I have here. I've got two regular landscape bricks, cover them with foil, and the top rack, I went ahead and set that on top of the bricks. So I've got my turkey here. Now this option on the bricks is good for any pellet smoker that doesn't have a top shelf on it. So you want to put your turkey right in between the bricks just like this, okay? I've got my breast towards the exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door down. And let me talk about the pellets that I am using today. I am using B&B cherry pellets right here with some of this Jack Daniels charcoal infused pellet. Now this pellet right here is made with oak that they used to filter Jack Daniels with along with charcoal. So that's gonna give the turkey a really good charcoal flavor as well. All right, so the turkey's gonna smoke for an hour and a half at 425 degrees. We'll see you guys then. All right, one and a half hours into our cook, and this bird, I can tell you, is smoking really hot and fast. We're at 146 on the thigh and 142 on the breast, according to my meter app. And let's take a look at this turkey. Oh yeah, it's got a really nice color. So we're almost done. We're about 20 degrees from being done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate this bird. Just like that. Let the other side get nice and dark like this side is. I'm gonna come back and spray it with some butter spray and brown up and crisp up that skin as well. Stay tuned. All right, so we are at the two hour mark and the breast is at 158 and the thigh is at 155 degrees. So I'm gonna spray it with some, I can't believe it's not butter, just a butter spray. And that's gonna help crisp up that skin a little bit more and also give it a nice dark color. Okay, so spritz the entire bird. Get the bottom, the legs, the breast, and that skin is nice and crispy. I gotta tell you, it's gonna be really, really good. Okay. All right, so I've got the entire turkey sprayed. We're gonna take this to 165, pull it off, and let it rest for about 30 minutes. We'll see you guys inside. All right, so our smoked turkey is done, and total cook time was two hours and 15 minutes at 425 degrees and it looks absolutely beautiful. Now I did leave my meter probes in there just to measure the carryover temperature. So the temperature as it's resting, it does go up about five degrees. And again, using that meter app really helps out monitoring your temperatures that way. So I'm gonna transfer the turkey to my cutting board. All right, so I'm gonna carve this up with my electric knife. I think electric knives were meant to carve turkey. It just makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna take out some of the breast. See how juicy this is oh man beautiful nice and juicy oh yeah hopefully you can see the juiciness on the camera sometimes you can't see it because of the light but that looks really really good so i'm going to take some of this turkey leg as well oh yeah that is absolutely perfect It's still really, really hot. You can see the injection in some of the spots, which again, it's really juicy, okay? That's what that spot was on this. That's the injection itself. So it looks really, really good. Let's give it a taste. All right, let's give our turkey a taste and see how we did. I'm gonna grab this big old piece right here, just take a bite out of it. Cheers. Mm. And that is really tender and packed with so much flavor. I gotta tell you, that injection works really, really good. I'm gonna give some to my daughter to try it. Let me know what you think. Yeah, all right, so we got a thumbs up for my daughter. I'm gonna try this piece of dark meat as well. Mm. All right, so that dark meat is packed with so much flavor, absolutely delicious. I actually like the dark meat better than I do the breast. Now, I normally like the breast meat from the turkey, but in this case, that's got such an amazing flavor. All right, so two hours and 15 minutes at 425 degrees. I mean, you can get up at 10 o'clock and have Thanksgiving dinner by noon. It's that quick. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, Joe is smoking Joe's Fit Barbecue. See ya.